The six Athenian men are currently arguing over the rose in the dark forest of Athens. They all want to have rose for the play, but Bottom wants off the rose in the play. I want to play the roles of Thesis, Hippolytus, Phaedra, Aphrodite, and Artemis. The rest of you can be the chorus. No way! That's practically all the roles. You can't play all the roles. That's impossible. I can do whatever I want. You can't stop me. Huh. No, you must let us have some roles too. I did, the chorus. That's not in a proper role. Well, too bad then. Oh, wait. Lordison, uh, Lordison, Blute, and Snarveling, and Snug, and Quince will be my servants for the play. I am a genius. Got it? That's Oliver's bottom. There's no one else. Oh, oh my God. For the sake of Athena, give us more roles. Bottom, stop being so selfish. Lordison is right, Bottom. Stop being so selfish. The men argue over which rose is whose. Meanwhile, Puck comes across the scene and devises a mischievous plan. Well, looky here. Who should I turn into pig? Ooh, that one. With a wave of his finger, Puck turns Bottom into a pig-headed creature. <laughs> so I will be Artemis and Aphrodite. Is that okay? That sounds fine. I can be Hippolyte. Is that okay, Bottom? The, all the Athenians looked at the pig-headed Bottom. Everyone freezed for a few seconds, then ran away screaming. Ah. Huh? Where are you guys going? I was about to assign you guys more roles. Um, why is my skin so furry? Did I turn into a pig? Welcome to our show today. We will be presenting Midsummer Night Dream. We hope you can sit back and enjoy our magnificent play performance. This scene starts happening in the dark woods. Can I be the star of the show? No, it's not right for you. But I'm the best at acting here. No, that is not true. Yes, I am the... Well if, you, well, if you were less of a show-off and better than acting, then fine. Yeah, bottom. Can we just start rehearsing? Yeah, sure. Just give me the role. While the six actors were fighting, a little someone flew by. I have an idea. Puck had a very bad idea indeed. He was known to be a very naughty sovereign to Auburn. What do you call a donkey? You, sh what? you should be a donkey bottom. Is that fun with everyone? I think everyone agrees. And it's settled. I'm going and to... it was true. Park flew after Bottom, who was walking away, pouting and mumbling to himself. And magical as it was, turned Bottom straight into a donkey. When Bottom was walking back to his friends, he was thinking about what to say. Then a joke came to his mind, and he realized that it was a good joke to say. What do you call a donkey with three legs? Ah, you look like a zombie. A wonky hee-haw, hee-haw. Uh, who is this free, who is a creepy donkey? Ah, uh, this will make Titania so embarrassed. She'll give the changeling boy to Master Oberon. Mohaka. Why are they all running away from me? I just recovered from being no. so mad that I had to be a donkey. Never mind, I will just... Tell jokes to myself and sing to myself. 
Thank you for watching our play. Hee haw. When it was still dark outside, there was a fight between two women. Pop accidentally sprinkled a tiny amount of magic powder on Lysander's eyelids, which he was supposed to put on Demetrius's eyelids, not Lysander. Here's what happened. Why did you steal my man? Huh? What are you talking about? You stole my man. You mean Lysander? I never loved Lysander my whole life. Why would I do such a thing? Stop lying. You secretly loved him and now want to take him from me. I have never loved him. You are being ridiculous. If you are not telling the truth, I will never be friends with you ever again. I'm telling the truth. Trust me. The two women kept fighting on and on until... Okay, this is enough. I will never do this thing to you because you are my best friend. Then why would my Lysander love you now? I seriously don't know. Then who would know? I promise you, I don't know anything. The end. One dark and sunny day in the forest, there was a serious misunderstanding between the one of the soon-to-be-married Athenian, Hermia. Puck, a sprite, has accidentally put the potion to the wrong person's eyes. Later, Puck put the potion to another person's eyes, allowing both men to fall in love with Helena, which brings a misunderstanding to Hermia. You! Thief of love! Thief! What did I do? <sighs> you, you, are you changing both men's hearts? Especially like Sanders! I guess I'm the prettier one. Stop it already! Don't joke around! Girl, I'm serious. I don't even know what is going on. <sighs> As the two were arguing, Lysander and Demetrius were at the back still madly in love with Helena. I love Helena. Yeah. <sighs> Lysander, it's over. We're breaking up. <laughs> sure. Helena is better than you, anyways. A volcano erupted inside Hermia's head as she turned around and furiously stomped away. Goodbye, hot-headed lady, queen of cringe. See you never again. After all has happened, they went their separate ways and never met again.